Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Hercules from Slap and Tickle. And today we're doing a, a how-to video. And this is definitely a three-star strategy for a Town Hall 11 going against the Town Hall 10. You can three-star, and I'll show you an example of a, a 10 on 10. Uh, but it's, it's definitely a high percentage two-star with a good chance of a three. So, so uh, you could call it a max witch. I just feel like it's more than that. Uh, our top guy, Aid, has, has perfected it and is starting to teach us. And, and uh, we're just going to call it Witch Slap. So, so with Witch Slap, your, um, your objectives are going to be to create half your funnel with a queen walk. The other half of your funnel is going to be a golem and just enough wizards. And I mean just enough. And then it's going to be, you know, 9 to 12 witches up the middle. And I make it sound easy, but it is definitely not a beginner strategy. It's definitely something for someone who's a skilled attacker. And even then, you're going to have to practice it. Uh, Aid has been three-starring some Town Hall 10s with it. We had a 10, three-star 10 this war. And I'll show you an example of a fail that just so happens to be me. But it was pretty close to getting that second star, so... Uh, let's start with the sketch of, of how we we're going to do it. All right, so here's the sketch of how Aid was advising uh, Annie to attack this guy. And so let's uh, let's go over to objectives again. You're going to create half the funnel with a queen walk, the other half with your golem and and a couple wizards. Uh, but you also want to be trying to take out a mortar or a wizard tower or a possible big bomb location. These are all bonuses because those will hurt your witches. So you can see at the top, this is where we're going to put a queen and four healers. And you don't really want to go more than four healers because after that, they get knocked down a little bit after the new update. And after six, they get knocked down dramatically. So four seems to be the sweet spot. So he's, you know, we're going to put the queen at the top with four healers, and we're not really sure which way she's going to go. On this style base, it's kind of hard to predict, but it doesn't matter. We're going to be ready to go with plan A or plan B. Plan A on the right, plan B on the left. Just so happens the queen goes to the left. So we're going to let her walk down through, and then going to put in a golem at the bottom, you can see, and a minion at that bottom camp. And your funnel will be pretty much created. And from there, you're going to go in with, uh, in this case, we used four quakes to open it up. And then just dumped a whole bunch of witches in there. So let's go to the replay and check it out. All right, so here we are with the attack. And he sticks to the script. He drops his queen and his healers on the top. And it's pretty important, while she's doing her work, I'll tell you about taking a rage spell for your healers. A lot of times when the, the queen's energy gets low, you want to save her ability. So you'll drop a rage and you want it to encompass the healers so that they heal quicker and they keep her alive. And it really does work. So you, you want to lead the healers though. You don't, you don't want to put it on the healers. You, you, you want it to get the queen a little bit, but you want to be leading the healers. So queen's put in some work. Back to the game here. She's put in some work. She's made the top half of the funnel. Here comes the golem. He's making the bottom half of the funnel with the minions. Breaks the wall open. And right here, so you can see the camps are pretty much destroyed. So there's the bottom half of the funnel as good as done. Golem's already turning around, rerouting for the hole. And he's dropped four earthquakes to break the base open. He was just a little off target. He wanted to break the core open, but uh, doesn't matter. So watch what happens here. Here comes the witches, and the funnel's made, so they're going to pour in. He's holding his king. There goes the rage. I'm going to pause it. There goes the rage. Notice how he's led the healers, but he's also got the queen a little, but it's really to, to pump those healers up so they can heal her up and keep her alive. And he's holding his king, like I said, will hit play. He's holding his king so that 
the skeletons all get out in front and trigger the traps and take the inferno beams. Here comes the king. Everybody going right down down to the middle, and the clan castle troops are no issue. They go down quickly. Queen still getting healed up by the healers, which is making all sorts of skeletons. There they are into the core. He drops another freeze on that multi. Lava pups all over the place, but they make short work of them. And they move into the core, and those healers are, are really helping everybody out. Queen's still full health. King's up at the top doing some work, getting some percent. Uh, Town Hall goes down. Town Hall goes down. We're almost at 50%. Dare uses the Queen's ability. She was going down because the healers were distracted healing something else. Still, Witch is pouring in there. A couple wizards on the top with the King. Queen's about to die. He's at 52% already, so he's happy. A couple wizards getting some trash points here some percent it's good helps with the tiebreakers queen's king still doing great healers healing him now comes another cleanup troop another one i think that's it hasn't even used this king's ability i'm going to two exit here because it's over he's going to get some more percent here but great attack by annie uh well done All right, so here we are with Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10. Annie, again, he's going to go against this odd base layout. Probably isn't the best base layout, but nonetheless, it's still a Town Hall 10 on a Town Hall 10. Um, actually, this is a 9.5. There's no Inferno Towers. And I don't even think I see the third Expo. It's kind of hard to find anything. It's like organized chaos, but let's get right to the attack. He's going to come with a queen walk on the top left. There she is. And there's her girlfriends. And he's going to make the other part of the funnel up here. He's starting with some wizards taking some buildings that are out of range of any of the defenses. Queen walk still going good. Um, Gollum's going to come here any minute as soon as those wizards get in range of that mortar. Here comes the Gollum to distract the fire. Couple more wizards to really make that funnel nice. And so I'll pause it here. And you can see the wizards up top here have whittled the buildings away pretty darn good. This side of the funnel is practically done. Queen Walk over here by herself has done more work. She's actually made a better funnel than the wizards. Some of that's timing, but nonetheless, which is coming right up the middle. They're going to take the queen out. Looks like he stuck a witch down to the bottom. I didn't notice that. And a witch to the top. I didn't notice that before. Good move. Here's a jump. Witches go over it. Or skeletons go over it like a wave. Queen walk is still alive. Gollum's in there. There's a lava hound. He's not worried about him at all. Witches are still pouring skeletons in. Still taking the jump spell. Throws a rage down in the core. And Town Hall's just about to go down. Town Hall's down. So here's about the time where you're wondering if, if he's going to run out of gas. But he's planning on a three-star. There goes a jump on the other side of the core. That's, that's how you know he's planning on a three-star. And the core goes down. He's got a bunch of wizard or archer towers at the bottom. I'm not sure why the guy set it up like this. Um, but these point defenses, they're just totally distracted by all the skeletons, top and bottom. King's doing real good. Finally uses his ability. Still hasn't used the Queen's ability. She's over here getting healed up. Queen walks still alive. And there's almost nothing to this base left. It's it's done. Great three star by a Town Hall 10 on a nine and a half. Really, really good. Nice work, Andy. Okay, so here's another one. And this one is Aid, and Aid is going to show us how it's done. He's going to three-star this Town Hall 10. And it's a four-corner nemesis base. We've gotten pretty good at hitting these in various ways. And this is Aid's way. So it's going to start with a queen walk, as usual. There's his queen and his healers. 
And while everything's distracted, he's going to throw a couple wizards into that top corner compartment. Clear that out. Queen getting in a little bit of trouble. Uses her ability kind of early, but that's okay. The healers are still going. There he goes with the rage. Raging up his... Notice how he's led the healers. He's raging up his, his healers and takes out the king. So king's dead. King's out of the game. There goes four earthquake spells over to the side. There goes his fourth. Opening that up. Nice hole all the way to the core. Right? So, so there goes a couple wall breakers, and here comes his golem for the bottom half of the funnel. Followed up by a couple wizards to clear that compartment, and here come the witches. Witches have a nice funnel all the way to the core. At the top comes the clan castle. This is impressive. Here comes a, a dragon and balloons, and the queen walk is alive. They st we still got the healers. There goes the rage. Rage down, so he gets the healers, leading the healers, also getting the queen. And his queen walk is going to take these clan castle troops out. It's going to freeze the dragon. Well-timed freeze. Shoot it out of the sky. Witches are pouring in skeletons. Freezes the multi-target inferno. Doesn't want any witches to die. Also gets, looks like an expo in there. And the king jumps out in front and starts banging on that dark elixir storage. Warden, this is important to note. Uh, so the warden targets exactly what the troops ahead of him target. That way he can follow them. And, and if you notice, we'll try to stick the warden with the witches as much as we can because they're fragile. So let the witch slap begin. Here comes the warden behind the witches. King's in there. Looks like they're starting on a town hall. All sorts of skeletons in there. Queen's still full health. Over to the side. Still full health. Town hall about to go down. There it goes. Town Hall is down. Warden still has his ability. Witch is still doing real, real good. Multi-target starting to target some of the wizards. He might lose a couple witches there to that. Queen's almost ready to go down. She's going to go down any second. Warden behind the witches still helping their hit points. Golem out in front. There goes the Warden's ability. And this is about the turning point. Right here when this multi-target Inferno goes down. The healers are occupying some of the beams. When that goes down, it's over. The healers are actually protecting those witches in the core by occupying the beams, and it's down. This is it. From here, it's cleanup. Still got a lot of witches. Still got some healers. Warden full health. Golem just popped. But I'm going to two exit because this is it. This is over. This is a really good Town Hall 10 getting three star. 4x and it's done. Great job, Aid. Three stars. Slap the three star out of him. Okay, so here we are with another four corner nemesis base. Um, this is my attack, and and I made some mistakes, uh, and I'm I'm working on these. Going to get better. So I thought I'd show you a fail on what not to do. But there was a lot of good stuff in here, and I, I came pretty close. So let's get started, and here we go. And three, two, one. Okay, I started with four earthquakes. Now, I'm going to pause it here. This is my first mistake. I was off target a little bit. My goal was to open the outer wall and the wall of the single target inferno there uh, and I missed so that really screwed up my pathing for my golem you'll see here in a minute but I started out at the top with the queen walk I think I was pausing here because I was panicking a little so here goes the queen and the four healers she's safe she's gonna clear this whole compartment I dropped a couple minions up to the top wanted to make sure she didn't walk the wrong way on me they took out the buildings I needed. And here comes the golem at the bottom. Now, I'm going to pause it. And you can see he's beaten on this wall. And I, I sent a hog rider in there to try to get that archer tower. It didn't work out for me. Those wizards took the compartments out. But what I really wanted to show you was my golem would not be beaten on that wall if I had hit that 
earthquake spell right, he would be pathing towards that archer tower, which is what I planned on, but I rolled with it here. Cleaned out that compartment. Queen walks going pretty good at the top. She's starting to get targeted by their queen. I drop a couple giants down. I had to use her ability. Her health got real low on me. Uh, there's no hole in the wall, which is hurting me here again. But here come all my witches. My queen's doing pretty good. She's taking out that mortar, if you look. And that's one of the keys, because you don't want that mortar to be dropping bombs on your witches. They'll die quick. So, skeletons take out the buildings on the outside. They break the wall. Queen's still going good. King goes down maybe a little too soon. I should have held on him even longer. Because he steps up and gets in the way of that single target inferno. I drop a spell on that town hall compartment. Hoping to get through with it, through up to the town hall. Clan castle troops are there. And here comes my next mistake. Uh, right about here I drop a rage. And I kind of put it in the wrong spot. Uh, you can see I put it over here near the dead king. Uh, for some reason, I thought my witches, my skeletons were going over there, and I wanted them to hurry up and clear that, come to the middle, but they were in the middle. Misplaced rage spell. So, clan castle troops go down. King's dead from that single target inferno. I freeze them up as good as I could. My skeletons are doing good. They're, they're in the bottom, putting in some work. They're going into the core. Uh, there they are on the town hall. Really working on it. Queen standing back there sniping it. She's still getting healed. She's, the queen walk is still alive. Healer's taking some shots now. Town hall goes down. Town hall's down. Now let's just try to get to 50%. I got a couple cleanup troops. Um, single target inferno locks on my queen. Melts her quick. And it all starts to just fizzle out here. And I'm going to... For exit, we know the ending is 47%. I tried hard to pick up the last couple percent. Didn't get it. Couple mistakes, but you can see with a little higher level heroes, mine are 22 and 20, that would have been at least a two star. If I had done it all right, who knows? Could have been a three. But uh, I'm sure I'll share a video later on where I'm getting it right. So uh, we're going to keep working on that and let's. Let's go back here. All right, well, I hope you guys give this uh, attack a chance. Um, it takes a lot of practice, but I wanted to take a minute to show you our war map from this last map. It's looking pretty good. Go all the way to the bottom here. Uh, three star, ooh, a Town Hall 8. Nope, that's our side, my bad. Go all the way to the bottom. And three start all the eights, three start all the nines. That number four is a town hall ten. He's three starred. Two start all the rest, including the elevens. Uh, what a great war! Everybody did so good. Uh, like to just throw on man bear pigs attacked in the background. This this guy's. So good with the hogs. So good. So, um, yeah, give the witch, the witch slap a try. and Just remember you're going to create the first half of your funnel with a queen walk and the second half with a golem and a couple minions or wizards, whatever fits the base. Try to take out your mortars or the wizard towers if you can. Try to clear buildings from... Uh, Places where there's a possible double big bomb to prevent your witches from going there. Take a rage and rage up the healers. Lead them. It's meant for the healers. Remember that. It's nice if you can involve the queen, but it's meant for the healers. And try to rage her before you use her ability. Save her ability. And keep practicing and you could do a witch slap too. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you next time. Go, man, bear pig.